Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You see, the action is kufr, not that the person is a kafir because, you know, the hujah might not have been established on or they didn't understand. You know, okay, so okay, if, we, if, if, if you're going to take that position, you can you have to be consistent. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. So he was consistent. He was consistent in that position. That yeah, position. that's that's what I'm saying right. though. They'll take that position too, but then when it comes to your people, they'll deny that because they'll say they're like, denying, yeah. Yeah. And we have more rights. We have more rights to be given excuses than anybody else on earth. Islam just came to us like yesterday. You're talking about people who have, you know, centuries of scholarship and they're still worshiping a grace. But you <laughs> even like be... even like you right. was mentioning Kyrie Irving, like yeah. how they like come on him. Like this is a guy that just converted, like what, like he last year? Yeah. But you make excuses for your people who was born into mm -hmm. Muslim societies. Like they don't really make sense. It seemed yeah. like they should be given the less excuse if you want to play that game. Exactly. You know, they came up a lot. It's easier for them to go around and like, you know, find the truth. But yeah, exactly. I mean, and it I is easier for them to go and find the truth if they wanted it. Because they have the resources. Do we have the resources here? No. We, are still, we are still literally coming into our own as Muslims in the West. Right, we had to deal with these double um, um, colonizers, right? First of all, and then we had to deal with the foreigners coming out and telling us that, uh, you know, Malcolm X wasn't no Muslim, and then we had to deal with, uh, you know, what you call it, Salafia being co opted by foreigners. And oh, and, and check out the new check out the new game that they're playing on us. Yeah. And I think this is more directed towards, you know, um, so-called black, you know, Muslims here in the West. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you know, this particular group, this set from among the Salafis, you know, their main thing is don't, don't disrespect the rulers. This would be like, you know, make you like a Kawarich or this is a bit eye. Like, you know, you're supposed to just well, kind of go that, along. That really, that really is not new. That is not new. And to be honest, there is a confusion between particularly those Muslims who want who want to criticize the rulers, that they are confused between the difference between dissent and being disloyal. Okay, particularly those ones. Now the Salafis, they some of them are taking this position that you cannot criticize them the Muslim rulers at all, like period, right? Right. Which is from, which is from the book um Shara Sunnah of Imam Baba Bahari. This is where they get this from, right? Imam Baba Bahari's book, right? So that book right there, right? Anybody who studied it, they will take this this very soft, lenient position towards towards the, the Muslim rulers, right? However, at the same time, you have these other group. All they do from the comfort of their own homes, and I was talking to a brother about this the other like today actually. From the comfort of their own homes, they want to make it obligatory for you to speak against the Muslim rulers. They want to make it like a part of the religion to speak against the Muslim rulers. Meanwhile, they are sitting under the protection of Kafir rulers. Right. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Yeah, I, th I think I think you got to find the middle way. But I I didn't even heard yeah, some of them say. You have to I find don't heard it. some of them say, but I heard some of them say like, don't even connect, like the, the rulers that they don't even consider Muslims. They don't think it's like, like uh, you know, basically permissible for you to even speak about those. I never used to hear them like like bring that issue to the forefront though. That's 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 what I mean by like you. Now I hear them talk about that like a lot, like in the West. Well, well here here here, 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 here they didn't speak about that. Here, here's the issue, okay? Here's the issue. The way that it's being presented to the people, right? It's being presented in a very sensational manner, and it shouldn't be done that way at all, right? It should be done in a simplistic way where you have your delil and, and things of this nature, okay? Criticism of the rulers is meant for who? 
Is it for every Tom, Dick, and Harry to go and criticize the rulers? Nope. No, who is it meant for? I don't know. I guess those with knowledge of it. But no, 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 of course, of course. If but, every, if but bro, every, like, but bro, like my problem with them, like certain things, like you even showed that they, 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 they just had a big discussion. I think they was upset even with their boy Daniel, because it's based on like you know a lot of people been talking, you know, criticizing the government about Halloween. Mm -hmm. The Saudi government about them allowing Halloween, like this is kufr, this sort of mm -hmm. thing. So, you know. any any of those people who criticized the Saudi government for Halloween, those people are one of two things: either they're they're incredibly ignorant, or they're just hypocrites. Because we put a video out about that already. Right. We put a video out of, on, on about that. How I, I didn't think it was right for them to try to like tell people to shut up about that. Don't criticize. Like, I mean, like this is kind of like known by necessity, pretty much. I don't know. I don't know any Salafi that said don't talk about that. This is a lie that people say against Salafis, right? I don't know. It's the, even Sheikh Abu Osama, he spoke about it. He yeah, said, but but they were like, don't. But you like like people like Kareem Abdul Kareem. He was just saying like, and and when they had the conference with Daniel, that's what they were saying yeah. like. You can criticize Kareem, this, but don't Kareem, mention the Kareem government. Abu Zayda, Kareem Abu Zayda, in my opinion, is um, he's a waffler. He's not trustworthy. He, he's. I, I've always said that this guy is shady. I said it long before even the AIM conference. I said this man is shady, right? But him, him outside the equation. The reason why I said that is because Egypt's been practicing Halloween for years. Pakistan has been practicing Halloween for years. Turkey has been practicing Halloween for years. All these Muslim countries have been practicing Halloween for years. And the last holdout, which happens to be Saudi Arabia, when they start practicing what every other country has already been practicing, now it's a problem. Where were you with all your right. bravado when, when Egypt was doing it, when Pakistan was doing it, when Tunisia was doing it? When, when, uh, when, um, whatchamacallit, Algeria was doing, where, where were you when, you know, where were you and all your, your concern for the Ummah? Where were you then? Now Saudi is doing it. All of a sudden it's a problem. This is hypocrisy, Yaki. This hypocrisy. Yeah. But, they, but I mean, to be fair, to be fair people, though, most of the, most of the Muslims that, I had spoke, most of the Muslims I had spoke with, like they, they, to be honest, most of the Muslims I spoke with, they never considered these governments or these rulers to be Muslim. To be honest, like the Mubarak, Sisi, you know. Um, no, what it is is that there is this culture, right? Ever since I became Muslim, that Saudi can never, ever, ever do no right. <laughs> ever since, so anything that Saudi does must be criticized. So these people who are talking about criticizing the rulers, they don't mean criticize the rulers. They mean criticize Saudi. You get it? Yeah, okay. That that's their whole that's their whole dean. And if you don't um criticize Saudi, if you don't call them bootlickers, like they are calling them bootlickers and you are bootlicker. That's their religion. And so you can see their wallah bara taking place. What is their wallah bara? The any of enemy of my enemy. So now you have Muhammad Hijab, who sided with Jordan Peterson after the Muslims came out against him, now he's he's flip flopping and trying to say, "Oh, Jordan Peterson betrayed us." And who is he inviting into the circle now? Daniel Hakikuchi. Right? Why? Because the enemy of my enemy. Yeah, if I just saw that. Yeah, I thought that was you really cool. don't like don't like spubs and, and the 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 medicalies or whatever. We can be friends, no problem. You get it? That's the game, bro. Yeah, right. so I, if, if, to be if, honest, I never thought I never thought much of any of these rulers or or like these yeah, sects. Because it's all like of them, every last one of every last ruler in modern times is a Muslim ruler, not because of the Muslims, but because of the Kufar. Exactly. Not, not every Muslim ruler in a Muslim country is placed there by Western colonial powers. The Muslims didn't put them there. The, the white European gave you your rulers. They were the ones who divvied up your countries. 
So what do you look like going to the puppet master's country, living under the puppet master's protection, and pointing your fingers at the puppet? You know what you look like to me? A puppet. <laughs> That's what you look like. <laughs> You're just another puppet. You were living in a puppet master's country, you know, have all the most heat and work for Muslim rulers who are put there by your zaddy, who you don't say anything about because your visa might be at risk. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. And it's funny that you brought up the Jordan Peterson thing. As soon yeah. as he went and did a video with Netanyahu, all of a sudden, like he betrayed you. He been telling you this was his exactly. Exactly. He didn't betray you. He, he this he's always been clear, like his support yeah. for him. And you go out of your way to talk about you don't believe in reparations, trying to you know cozy up to him, and yeah. like, it's, it's ridiculous, man. And, exactly. and, and these, are, these are the really? people. These are the people who want to call us medicalies and stuff, and 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 boot lickers. These people. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs>